everyone good morning it is tuesday october 5th and i will be taking you guys along with me today a fun little day in my life um my voice <laughs> my voice is kind of weird because i did genuinely just wake up like five minutes ago i <laughs> i don't know why i it feels like i'm taking a friend along to my classes today and i like i like laid out my outfit last night <laughs> This is probably sad, but this is where my life is at that I am genuinely excited to be vlogging my day. Alrighty, quick fit check before we go to class. My hair's still a mess since I just woke up. Um, but this jacket, I got this from one of my classmates was selling it. Um, she's a lot shorter than me, so the arms are a little short, but I love it. I love the color, love the pattern. It even has a little hood. <laughs> Which is super dope and then I just have like a white tee underneath it nothing crazy have my typical black leggings And then in a surprising turn of events. I'm not wearing Converse or Vans. I'm wearing a pair of Doc Martens I bought these secondhand for super cheap and I wasn't sure how I felt about these But one of my friends said that Docs were made for me and Nika is simply a fashion icon So I will not be taking any criticism um, <laughs> But I, I think they look all right I, I'm just trying to get used to them because I'm used to wearing Converse and Vans. It is now 9.30, I have my 10 a.m. class, and if I don't leave in the next five minutes, I will be late. Alrighty, just walking to class now. It's 9.45, you can hear the, uh, I was about to say basketball team, the football team practicing next to me because I park in the stadium lot. Kansas is mathematically flatter than a pancake, but the good old founders of KU found what I swear is the only hill in Kansas and decided to build the university on it. People joke that going to KU gives you KU calves because of all the incline walking you do. I legitimately just failed that Spanish test, or I should say synthesis activity. Um. Now, despite doing poorly on both of the tests that week, I somehow still have an A in the class. I don't understand how that math adds up, but I am not about to question it. I'm on my way to communications now. It's like an oral comm class because I didn't take it in high school. Um, it's in this really weird building that was supposed to be a parking garage, but they turned it into classrooms. Here we are at Wesco Hall. To be honest, I wish it was still a parking garage. That would be so convenient and cut down my walking time considerably. But the parking garage atmosphere is interesting, even if it is a little spooky at times. They have a dining area in the basement called the Underground. I typically don't eat on campus, but it is available. And people call the outside area of Wesco, Wesco Beach. I have no idea where the nickname originated from, but it has stuck. It was cold this morning, so I was wearing my jacket, and now it's really warm, so the jacket <laughs> is now here. I reserved the Studio K, which I talked about in my Hawk Week video, because I wanted to be able to update you guys, and I also didn't want to reserve a regular study room, because people use those to study, <laughs> and um, nobody uses this. I've looked multiple times, nobody ever reserves this room, which is kind of a waste. Like, this place is kind of cool. Um, because I reserved this at midnight last night, so I am not taking up anybody's space. Um, here's the snack for the day. So every day, um, normally I eat this in between Spanish and communications. Um, I have a little cliff bar. This is definitely not like nutrition inspo. Please do not follow <laughs> my eating habits. They're probably not great, but I always eat one of these, sometimes some nuts, um, because I don't eat breakfast, <laughs> and by noon I'm kind of hungry. Um, so just a second. Like this has 21 grams of added sugar and it's 260 calories, so I don't know, that's probably not good. Like this is definitely not health food. Um, but most days this is what I eat in the mornings because I don't eat breakfast. I normally stay on campus from the start of my first class till I'm done with classes for the day because it just makes things simpler. I don't have to worry about finding parking again or being back on time and it's just a better use of my time. I can chill in the library, get homework done, I'm not spending so much time driving back and forth and so that means that I normally eat lunch after I'm done with my 2.30 class for the day which I know isn't ideal but I don't I don't like packing lunches and I refuse to pay $12 for a meal here on campus. So normally my cliff bar and my nuts tides me over till I'm done with classes and go home and eat lunch. However, 
Today I have a meeting at 5 and I really don't think I'd be able to go back to my apartment, eat lunch, and be back in time for that after my class gets over. So I'm going to quick run home, I'm going to eat lunch, and then go to my 2.30 class. Today I ate a salad and this weird protein shake. When I was editing this, I realized the salad expired four days before I ate it, but I didn't die. I'm normally not a protein shake gal, but it was part of some Dylan's promotional thing, and my appetite has been weird recently, so sometimes it's helpful to drink some of my calories so I won't die from malnutrition, but I also don't have to put in all the effort of eating if that makes sense. Once again, this is not nutritional advice. It's now almost 2, I need to get a move on to J101, and that's that's where we stand. I also picked up my Vans because I'm planning on going to the gym after I'm done with my meetings for the day, and Docs are not walking shoes. So I have those, we're good to go. Here's Isabel I'm coming into J101. I'm so honored, are you kidding? <laughs> J101 squad, here we are. I had a dream that I was kicked out of this class. <laughs> Signing in for attendance, the app is geolocated, so you have to be within the building for your attendance to count, and this way the professor can take attendance without having to manually count 300 people. I love this alcove outside Watson Library. I know I'm not the only person who goes down here, but I've never encountered anyone else. It's such a cool little place that's slightly off the beaten path, and I love just chilling here. I just got out of J101. We were talking about media and how it's used in commercials and things, and we watched Conjunction Junction and uh, Bugs Bunny with the William Tell Overture, and it, it wasn't. It was just kind of like a typical class. We also talked about Billy Joel and Queen, and I don't have a final in that class. She said the journalism school here is quote allergic to finals, so I don't have a final. She canceled class next week Thursday, so things are looking up. Um, I now have about an hour before I have my KJHK meeting, so I'm going into Watson, I'm gonna do some studying, get some things knocked out, and then go to that. As if I haven't walked up enough stairs today, I like to study on the fifth floor of Watson Library, which means up the stairs we go. I'm weirdly particular about where I like to study, but I really enjoy these study nooks on the fifth floor. They have lights and outlets and a full desk, and it's also a quiet study floor, so you can really just focus and get things done, and the view's pretty nice. Since it's test week in Spanish, we don't have Spanish homework, which typically takes up most of my study time. Full transparency, my class load this semester is incredibly easy. All the classes are required for my major, but since they're intro classes, none of them are particularly time intensive besides Spanish. Today, I took a weekly quiz for my J104 class and submitted a grammar exercise over parallelism. It was all multiple choice. I wrote down my answers, transferred them to the submission box. Boom, done. I also read an article and wrote a paragraph reflection for 10 points of extra credit. Supposedly, you remember information better if you write notes manually instead of typing them, and I also learned in psychology that reviewing your information within a few hours of learning can also further cement it in your memory. For this reason, I take my notes by hand, but then after class, I transcribe them into a Word document. So here are my notes from Communications and J101 today. My camera lens has been acting up a little bit recently, so if a couple of the upcoming shots look weird, that would be why. On my way to meeting one of three today, and I got a Snapchat from Kylie, and we're getting ice cream with her and some other people from my high school at Silas and Maddie's. So that's super exciting, so I have ice cream to look forward to after my three meetings today. Um, it is 4.50, but the union's right here, so I, I won't be late. It is 6 o'clock as the bell tolls, which means I will not be making it to my 6 o'clock nonprofit service club meeting on time. But I did let the person in charge know, so that's all good. So I'm headed there now. Um, the KJHK meeting was good. There were a lot of people there, probably about 60 ish. They said they pretty much have staff covered this year, but if I start shadowing people, then next year I'd be able to get on the air, which is fun. Um, it's also really interesting because I've talked to people on the newspaper team, and maybe I'll put some pictures up there, because the newspaper, the Daily Kansan, and KJHK have such different vibes about them. Like, the Daily Kansan is this kind of vibe, 
Whereas KGHK is more of this kind of vibe, so it, it's definitely very different, but I'm talking very quickly because I am already late to a meeting, so I should probably not be later than I need to be, so peace out. I witnessed frat guys in full suits performing a choreographed dance routine on the lawn of one of the sorority houses on my drive over here, so that was fun. All these meetings take place in Capitol Federal Hall, or Cap Fed. It's the home of the business school, it's actually a really nice building, and I'm glad I have meetings in here so I have an excuse to go and look around. I'm leaving Cap Fed right now, got done with the Habitat for Humanity meeting. Um, there were only four of us, um, but we're planning a volunteer week, and I'm doing some social media and like marketing sort of stuff through that. Um, so that's exciting, some volunteer opportunities coming my way. Um, I'm now going and getting ice cream with Kylie and those friends from high school, so I'm trying to find parking closer. I may be risking a ticket here, but we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna risk it and hope that KU Transportation decides to view me favorably this time because I am not walking up Daisy Hill at 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> I went to the dorms to meet up with everyone else, and unless you're a resident and swipe your KU ID, you can't get in. So normally Kylie or someone comes down and gets me, but if you act like you belong, sometimes you can slip in with other people like I did today. What did you get? I got cherry and cookie dough. Nice. I'm feeling a little crazy. Nice, nice. I'm just out here with a classic cookie dough. You know how it be. It's a little loud here, but yeah. I just got back from ice cream. It's about 10.40. I stopped and filled up with gas on the way home. You know, very exciting and fun things. But I had such a good time with Allison and Kylie and Jeannie. I always love hanging out with them so much. Tonight was no different. It's always a good time. And the ice cream was great, especially because Tuesday nights at Silas and Maddie's is college BOGO night, so if you show your KU ID, it's buy one get one. So half of us got free ice cream tonight. So that was great. They are discontinuing BOGO come November 1st, which is kind of disappointing, but understandable. That place is always packed. Um, and it's just such a vibe. I really like it a lot. I took out my contacts, changed into my sleepwear. I normally don't go to bed till probably around 1. Um, I'll probably go to bed a little sooner tonight because I am kind of tired. But before I go to bed, I sometimes like to drink a cup of tea and read. Um, <laughs> right now I'm reading the Checklist Manifesto. Um, I'm not gonna pronounce the author's name because I'll get that wrong. And I've also checked out 50 inventions that shaped the modern economy. Um, somebody on my Instagram story about three months ago raved about these books and talked about how much they loved them. And so I checked them out and I'm about 65 pages in to the Checklist Manifesto and I've had it for over a month which is a testament of how boring it is. I, it's kind of interesting. I really am having a hard time getting into it, which is why I haven't even gotten to the 50 inventions that have shaped the modern economy. Um, and I don't know if I will end up getting through it before they're due back to the Lawrence Public Library. Um, but I'm going to check and see if my tea is done um, seeping. I'm a big fan of the honey chamomile teal, <laughs> teal, the honey chamomile tea, and I also recently got a mug from The Onion that says, I appreciate the Muppets on a much deeper level than you, so part of the reason I'm drinking this tea is solely to flex that mug. drank my tea, read my book, it is now almost midnight, and I am extremely tired. So the last thing I do before I go to bed is I log my day in this app called Dailyo. Um, today will be the 1276th day that I have recorded my days in this app. So I'm going to do that, head to bed. I hope you guys have enjoyed this rambly day in the life. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!